how you all doing? Welcome to another episode of Good Dynasty. Okay, today I will be telling you a bit about myself. There was a time when I used to think I was weird because I had a small cycle of friends. I often want to spend time alone with myself and I always want to observe someone I meet for the first time before having a lengthy conversation with that person. So people tend to see me as someone who is shy, someone who is rude, someone who is for me. Yeah, little did I know that I have the personality of an introvert. <laughs> An introvert is often described as someone who has a reserved nature, uh, someone who is quiet. But we are often mistaken as someone who is shy. Please, we are not shy. Please. Okay, when I got to find out that I was more of an introvert, I felt so liberated. Like, I became more comfortable with my personality because I knew that I was not the only one who behaved the way I did. So I think people should be should learn how to be more comfortable with their personality rather than trying to be someone else's personality. You are an intro if you are an introvert, accept it. Some people tend to see an introvert like we are weaklings or we are so rude or I don't know. Please, we should learn to understand people's personality. I, I, I think we should actually learn to understand people's personality to have a good working relationship with that person. If you are dealing with an introvert or you're dealing with an extrovert, you should get to know that person's personality first. That would help us a lot. Like would would this world like would be a better place if we can only understand each other's personality can understand the personality we are working with. Yeah, I feel it's going to be a very, very good thing. Okay, if you want to know, or maybe you're actually struggling, or maybe you're actually questioning your personality, or you want to know if you are literally an introvert, I'll be giving you signs that you are actually an introvert. So accept your personality and work with your personality. And if there is a need to improve in your personality, please do improve and just accept your personality. Okay, I wrote them down here so I won't actually forget a point. So these are signs that you are literally an introvert like me. <laughs> okay, number one, you prefer to sit back and observe. Yeah, we introverts are very, very good observers. We don't really, we don't really want to talk all the time. So we just sit back and observe things first before we say a word. Number two, you enjoy spending time by yourself. Oh my God. Introverts are more happier when they get to spend time alone because it helps them think well It helps them be more creative like if you if we are actually having a problem We would just want to spend spend time alone to so just See a way we can actually resolve that problem. So spending time alone as an introvert We like it <laughs> Okay, number three you tend to tune out when someone you don't know well is giving you their entire life history. Oh my god, this can be so annoying. Like, I'm just meeting you for the first time and you are, you are, you're just giving me your life history. Are you, are you kidding me? Like, we just tend to tune out. Like, it turns out off. Really. Okay, and number four. You prefer to spend time with friends, one on one, or in a very small group of close friends. Yeah. We just like small groups, like small cycles. <laughs> we don't like large, large things. <laughs> okay, yeah, we like having small groups of friends and we prefer to spend time in small groups of people than a large group of people. And number five, you listen more than you talk. Definitely, we are very, very good listeners. Try us and say We are good listeners. And number six, you like creative and imaginative activities. Definitely, when we are alone, this, this is what we do like we want to always be creative with our mind and we just tend to think and just be creative and the next one is people often describe you as quiet and may find it difficult to get to know you seriously this is this is very 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 important like please we are introverts like we are not quiet we just want to observe you why don't you just understand us <laughs> and seriously like they, they just they just tend to see us as a quiet or a shy person and it's very very difficult to get to know us when you see us like that yeah and the next one is you feel tired after being in the crowd mm. after going out like socializing like 
there is always a need for us to come back and recharge, spend time alone and recharge. When we spend time alone, it helps us recharge our body, our mind and everything. So spending time alone is key to an introvert. And okay, which what else, what else, what else? I think that is the last one. Yeah, uh, okay, this, this one says, you often dread going to an event where there will be a lot of people. Like we have to have our mind ready when we know that we are going out to meet, like to an event that there are a large group of people, yeah. So, please, if you find yourself in this category, you're actually an introvert. So, learn to appreciate yourself. Learn to accept your personality. Don't always want to be someone else's personality. I remember there was a time when I had friends that were really outgoing. And I, on the other hand, didn't feel a need to always go out all the time. So, those kind of friends make me, make me felt like, oh my God, there was something wrong with me. And I have to overcome what is wrong with me. Like, I have to overcome it. And I actually, I really, I literally tried being an outgoing person. Like I tried, no, seriously, I didn't. But you didn't work out. Like it's not, it's not really my thing. It's not that we want to be alone all the time. No, we don't want to be alone all the time. Like we actually socialize too. But spending time alone is actually key to us. Yeah. So let's get to understand our personality, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. And introvert is actually the opposite of an extrovert. So get to know someone's personality before working with that person. Now, if, even though you don't know their personality when you're working with them, just get to know them more. If, like It will help you get a good working relationship. Yeah, Accept your personality. If there, needs, if there are needs to improve in your personality, please do improve. And just like yourself the way you are and make sure you don't always want to be another person yeah because you would actually fail at it when you're trying to be when you're forcefully trying to be someone else's personality okay today i will be stopping here thank you so much guys for watching if this was really helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share this video i love you so much guys and see you next time